Anyway, the tools here we got, for example, vertical column, slanted column, load family. We're gonna explain all of them and here in option bar, for example, here we got rotate after placement. If I check this item, after that, if you place your column, then you will be able to specify an angle for your column. So in this way, you can rotate your column and then in this way, place your column. So you uncheck it and the next is depth. Right now, as you can see, I'm in level one and I have placed the column in the specified depth, which is two, uh, 2500 and unconnected, which it means independent and 2500 for the height. And here, since I have a specified depth for the column, th then the column is extended in negative direction. So right now, as you can see, the column is placed under the level one. So how we can fix this? I delete this and then in level one, I pick columns and then I switch this to height. And after that, here you can specify the levels and unconnected as well. I recommend you to not to use unconnected, um, but in special circumstances. For example, when you're sketching a column without a level. But anyway, as we specify a level for our project, for example, in this way, here we can specify the height of the columns of our, uh, I mean, the height of the, for example, right now the level one is open and I want to continue the column to level 2 or to level 7 for example I'm going to choose to extend the column to level 7 but actually this should not be happened in a structural project since each level should be have its specific column one of the reason is that for example if you want to use the, the analytical models in other softwares like robot or etaps I mean import them then there and then export them to Revit so to work on the analyzed model Preferably, you should specify a column for each of the levels. So, level 2. So, these were the items in option bar, as I told you. After this, you can place your columns wherever you want in this way. And it extends toward positive direction, as we specified height. Let me arrange level 1 and 3D view in this way. And then... To observe the columns, check this out. As you can see, one of them is sketched in depth, while the another one is in height. I remove this in this way. Again, I pick a structural column. Anyway, if I put the structural column on grid lines, I mean on intersect grids. So if I put it here, a kind of a standard snap will be enabled. Or for example, let me try it in other places. Actually here if I press space, the column will be rotate in every 45 degrees. And then you can choose your specified degree. But if you place your columns in an open space like this, your column will be rotating in every 90 degrees. As you can see, it rotates anti-clockwise. So if I consider this, here if I, when I press space, then the direction of the rotation will be in this way, anti-clockwise, exactly opposite to the clock, in this way. So, let me try again, check this out. As you can see, it is rotating anti-clockwise. So, this was the rotation of the columns. Anyway, this was about the vertical columns. Right now, if I click on Add Grid, which creates structural columns at the intersections of selection grid lines, then you just need to click on intersections of the grid lines. For example, I drag this region and then some columns will be placed. Check this out. At the end, you need to click on Finish. Finish, check this out. The columns are placed and the intersections. So this was the function of add grids. And the next item, which is add columns, creates a structural columns inside selected architectural columns. So it requires architectural columns. For example, suppose that in, in a project you had used some architectural columns. So let me give you an example. Here, since the template is structural, I'm not able to use architectural columns. So you have to load some architectural columns from the folder of column. Well, you can find the structurals in structural columns. So I open columns. For example, concrete. 
After that, I load one of these temporarily in this way. Um, wait for a second. Wait for the columns to be loaded. Um, no. Architectural columns. Yes. In concrete. Concrete round or metric concrete square column. Wait for a second. Apologies, me made the mistake. I mean, the structural columns have been copied, have been copied in architectural columns. So I fix them, and then I load this very well. So here, as you can see, you don't have the options of structural columns for architectural columns. Anyway, I place some of them on the intersections, and anyway, if you had architectural columns in your plan and if you wanted to add some uh, structural columns based on the architectural ones you just need to click on add columns and then you specify the type of your column for example here we got concrete but structural type or you can add metal ones it depends on you so i select the type and then i drag the columns check this out so as you can see, the structural columns are placed inside the architecturals. You can also rotate them by pressing a space before clicking on finish. Anyway, after specifying the proper angle, you can click on finish in this way. And actually the reason that I'm not able to observe the architectural columns, I have to say that as I'm using the structural template, so the elements which are non-structural, they are hidden. And if you want to show them, here in view visible to graphics you should check columns to be able to observe the architectural columns here as you can see the archi architectural columns and the inside of the structural columns very well i delete these columns and the others as well i continue in level one and then again i pick the structural column but to continue in next video